How's it going, everyone? I am Frank, also known as KLF or KL Achievements F, and today I'm bringing a video that is a, it's a little bit different. It's, I, I am focusing on the new SimCity. I do have the game, I do enjoy it, and I know you guys have probably heard a lot about the controversies and, and this and that and online and DRM and, and whatever, but uh, I have been playing the game, I have been enjoying the game, and so I thought I'd share a bit of knowledge with you guys. This is a SimCity Power Plants tutorial. And so, when it comes to powering your cities, it's one of the most essential things that you need. After building your first roads off of the highway, what you need is power. You need to power the homes. There are five different power plants available. Four of them are, I think, nuclear power isn't really um, considered to be uh, built right off the hop. So there's four main power plants that you have to choose from when starting the game. Now, as you can see, power is very important. Uh, you need enough power to reach, it, it travels through your streets and power all the factories, uh, commercial buildings, homes, this and that. One of the power plants that's most commonly started with is the coal power plant. Now, it, it does produce a lot, a lot of power. As you can see at the bottom right, there is uh, like 73 uh, megawatts in excess. But what makes the power plants, especially coal power plants, different in this game is, see right there, I can, I need coal or oil to produce power in coal or oil power plants. Seems pretty simple, right? Now, in order to get this coal or oil, in this case coal, I don't have any coal deposits in my city. So what I have to do is I need to order and, and ship in coal from the global market. So as I showed right there, it's I, I need it's like four thousand dollars or so a truckload in order to, to produce in order to get coal to produce power for my city. So that's one thing to keep in mind for coal power plants. Now another obviously major drawback that I just showed was the pollution levels. Coal power plants they're very dirty and so they they produce a lot of pollution. I built mine kind of on the edge of my city so and as you see the wind direction goes out over the water so it's not going to to affect the citizens of my city it's not going to create a lot of air pollution it's not even going to affect other cities in my region because I right here in this city I'm on the edge of the region now there's a few upgrades I can build uh, including the clean coal generator which does cost a lot of money but you do have to have a university in the region with the school of engineering and research it so that's going to be more of like a mid to late game type of uh, uh, upgrade that you can produce and, and so, to, on the outset, coal power plants, they're not that expensive, only I think around 17k, but they do produce a lot of pollution. So it's, I guess that's a trade-off, is it? They're not too expensive and they produce a lot of power, but they do pollute. Another alternative you can do, I guess is a cleaner alternative, is a wind power plant. And I, I did build a wind power plant in my first city here. And wind power plants are the, the cheapest power plant that you can build. They're only $8,000, doesn't cost a lot of money per hour to run. And as you can see, there's the three types of turbines that you can build to generate power. Uh, small, large horizontal, and the vertical turbines. Vertical turbines, are, it's, uh, they're kind of like the, the uh, upgrade that you need the university for. It seems that every power plant does have one. So um, you, if you have a university in the region and they do study a science or whatnot, then you could build those, those uh, turbines. Now there's two... I guess downfalls to wind power plants. One is that it does produce a lot. It it does produce not that much power. Pardon me. It, it, especially compared to coal power plants, they and it depends on the wind speeds and whatnot. I think if you're higher elevations, there's higher wind speeds. But essentially, wind power plants you need a lot of turbines to to power. Like right here, this is a mid-sized city, but I need a lot of turbines just to kind of scrape by. So with the wind power plant, you're going to see a lower power outcomes just like with these solar power plants the the one positive though for both solar and wind power plants is that neither of them produce po any sort of pollution so both of them while they do take up a lot of space and they don't generate a whole lot of power both of them are clean clean solutions so as you can see with the solar power plant um again the upgrade is the concentrated solar array uh you need to have a university all that funny business and it is quite expensive it's forty thousand for the solar array however each solar array produces three times as much as the fixed solar array and the fixed solar arrays, again, they're cool. Uh, they do produce more power than the wind power plants, but solar power plants do cost more than wind power plants. And again, space is an issue when it comes to... So that right now, right there, I showed the two kind of renewable, the wind and the solar. Both of those don't produce pollution, but they don't produce very much power either, and they take up a lot of space. So depending on your city, city build, your city layout, uh, it, it's going to vary if you think it's the right one for you. Now, uh, looking at 
uh, oil power plant. So as you can see here in the different data layers, I see I have a, de a small deposit of coal down there and a large deposit of oil here. Because I'm going to want to take advantage of that, in this city, I'm going to build an oil power plant. Now, oil power plants, they are just as dirty, if not dirtier than coal power plants. And they are more expensive, but they do produce more energy. Uh, as you can see, the excess uh, megawatts I produce are um, higher than they were with my coal power plant. And I built it on the edge of my city, so again, the, the wind isn't going to push the air pollution being created by my oil power plant over where my houses and my residential are. There's the three types of expansions for oil, oil power plants, just like coal power plants. And that third one, the clean oil generator is, um, it doesn't need a university to, to get by, but it is significantly more expensive, even though it does provide clean oil energy. It, it essentially changes the amount of pollution outputted from high to low with that, that third add-on, even though it is, that, that's probably why it is so expensive, because oil, oil and coal power plants do produce a lot of pollution for your city. So right there, I kind of went over the, the two basic dirty ways of, of power plants to generate power and the two clean ways to generate power and each of them kind of have their pros and cons. Now what one thing we can do as I showed earlier I do have that uh, oil reserve right over here is I can actually drill for oil. I can build an oil well. This will probably happen a bit later in the game. You're probably not going to get this right away but I can build an oil well and I can as long as I, I tick the checkbox in my oil power plant whereas it says to accept local deliveries, then automatically, and uh, as I'm going to be shipping oil out from my oil reserve to the global market to make money, I can also ship that oil to my oil power plant and not have to worry about buying oil from other people. So right away, I can, it, it helps synergize your cities, especially with, with different specializations. So now I can power my city without having to spend extra money to bring those trucks inwards. The fifth and final power plant solution is the mother load of all. As you can see right there, it is certainly the most expensive, $145,000 just on the outset without even going over its $1,300 per hour uh, cost to maintain is a nuclear power plant. Now, nuclear power plants produce way more power than any type of power generation in the game. It's, it's a very much late game, heavily specialized type of power plant. Typically, as you can see, there's a three type of reactors. There's a fast neutron reactor. reactor. Um, typically, you're going to see nuclear power plants providing power to, to two, sometimes even three different cities because of how much power it generates. You can have like a, a straight up utility city and you can have it in one and it's going to uh, help power that city along with a couple others just because it provides so much extra uh, millo megawatts, sorry. For your city to consume and see and as you can see right here i build a couple extra generators and i'm already at a crazy amount of power generated now there's two special things to remember with a nuclear power plant it is a different beast and it is again really expensive one is that nuclear power plants need water to run that just goes from nuclear power plants functioning just in in the real world out in real life and so we're going to need for sure more water in order to generate as as i drop this this water tower, water tower here, in order to generate a lot of power. So I get the water, it's going to make its way to the nuclear power plant. And the other thing to remember for nuclear power plants is that typically you need educated sims to help run them. This is because without educated sims uh, working, you might have radiation leaks, so radiation might leak out to your city and, and cause people to move away and kill plant life, kill vegetation. Very, very debilitating. Or there's a, a possibility of a nuclear meltdown. With a meltdown, it's the effects are crazy on your city. It can, it can pretty much make half your city uh, unlivable. No, like people can't live there. No vegetation will live there. Nuclear meltdowns are crazy, crazy, crazy. Avoid those at all costs. So I hope I gave you guys a bit more insight on the different type of power plants and ways to generate power within SimCity. If you like what you see, subscribe, and I'm hoping to have more of these tutorials out as time goes on. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.